Hi guys and welcome to another ESP32 technical tutorial. In this edition uh, we're going to talk about the RC522. Uh, now this is a this is a relatively common, very very cheap, you can find it on eBay for a couple of bucks, um, RFID scanner. And uh, using this device you can connect it to your ESP32 using the SPI protocol and be able to read near field communication scanning. So you can bring smart cards and key fobs uh, in proximity to the device and be able to read and write data from it. Think of this like uh, key card access or swipe access and various other things. Now this is going to be a re relatively short tutorial because there's not much technical stuff to talk about. There has been for quite some time a rather excellent Arduino based library available for Arduino based systems and this provides uh, an excellent API that you can use in your applications in order to interact with an RC522 and uh, there's been some excellent video tutorials on building this library and using this library with Arduino on the ESP32 but uh, I recently got a request to assist somebody who didn't want to for whatever reasons leverage the Arduino APIs. They wanted to be able to access the RC522 using just the ESP IDF APIs. So thankfully that was relatively short short task, a couple of hours, two, three, four hours, and uh, one, kept, one remapped the SPI API calls from the Arduino libraries to the ESP32. The result is a library which can be found at this URL in my ESP32 snippets, which basically allows us to create a C++ class from the RMFRC522 header file. And when you link your application with this, we've got the full API available for the RC522 with no Arduino linkage necessary or Arduino libraries for the ESP32 necessary. You can it's a pure 100% ESP IDF based tool. Now, of course, it's C++ based, so we leveraged uh, the pre-existing and sample um, C++ classes. So let me show you what it looks like from a, a, a real-world perspective. I'm running a very simple sample application. The sample application just runs in a loop and what it does is it looks to see if a new card is present and if there is, dumps the contents of that card, the physical plastic card. So on my desk I have an RC522 scanner and I now bring the card in proximity and we see the data. Now the data is primarily the card UUID or the card unique identifier which is I believe one, two, three, four, I think it's six bytes of data and if I bring uh, another card in proximity to the device again we get a read of data and this time it's another card's UUID one two, three, four, four bytes, I guess. So four bytes, 32 bits of information, plus one kilobyte of readable and writable information. Very quickly, we can scan its UID to determine the unique identity of the card, and also we can get up to a kilobyte's worth of additional information off the card, or we can also write to the card. So think of it like if you bring a card very quickly near the RFID scanner, you'll get 32 bits, an identity of the card, but if you were to hold it in place for a few seconds longer, you've got the ability to retrieve up to a K of data or even write a K of data to it. And that, my friends, is really all I wanted to say. There is now in existence a C++ class library, which is Arduino uh, uh, independent, which is based on the fantastic uh, open source um, uh, uh, RFID class, which is incredibly popular amongst Arduino programmers. It's available on the snippets environment for C++ classes, and it's there for you to download and play with. Thanks, guys. I hope you, you got something useful from this. Talk to you all soon. Bye.